we envision Bohol as a prime agricultural destination and a strong balanced agro-industrial province with a well-educated, God-loving and law-abiding citizenry, proud of their cultural heritage, enjoying a state of well-being and committed to sound environmental management. But to ensure a state of well-being for all Boholanos, government must be able to respond to threats of public safety, emergency situations and disasters in the quickest time to save more lives. The implementation of the Local Government Code of 1991, local government units can adopt measures to protect inhabitants from the harmful effects of man-made and natural disasters and provide assistance and services. Thus, promulgated Republic Act 10121, also known as Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010. Yet, in spite of these, the threat of natural disasters and emergencies worsened by climate change can affect our province and safety of our lives. The challenge now lives on who and how to respond to these emergencies in the quickest time possible. To ensure a state of well-being for all Boholanos, the challenge is that government must respond to threats of public safety, emergency situations, and disasters in the quickest time to save more lives. In case of emergencies, who do you call? Sheer 117 Telephone and radio system integrated emergency response Sorry, Sheer 117 was launched as Bohol's initiative for disaster preparedness and risk reduction management Contributing to the honor of Bohol as best governed province Sorry, Sheer 117 provides Receiving and responding calls for an emergency Weather monitoring and text bus capability Dispatch emergency units as quick response for medical emergencies, vehicular accidents, water and other rescue operations. Relay calls to fire department in case of conflagration or hospitals for admission and treatment. Conduct trainings to concerned agencies and LGUs. To meet these challenges, Tarishir 117 together with its network of personnel and partners throughout the province undertakes continuous capacity development and skills enhancement to build and enhance capabilities for emergency response. Tarishir 117 does not only rely on its own response unit, it taps a province-wide network of volunteers who contribute their time, labor, and other services to respond to emergencies. Earning people's trust, we readily save their lives at the quickest time possible. Saving lives knows no boundaries, no time in whatever circumstances and in whatever events. In the aspect of equipment support and capacity building, the provincial government continues to find ways on building a strong province-wide network and international partners strengthening its capabilities and quicker response to face bigger challenges. Since its launching, Tarshir 117 has upgraded its skills and equipments for a faster response and effective service making Tarshir 117 a community by word to ensure a safer Bohol for all. True to its goal of saving lives, responding and providing to emergency services to the poorest of the poor with utmost dedication and care, Tarshir 117 gained recognitions and acknowledgments from partners in public safety and the people in Bohol.
Since the time Tarsier 117 was established as a project of the provincial government of Bohol, quite a number of Boholanos have already been given the great opportunity of availing the services of well-trained men and women in the Tarsier team, serving 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in response to emergency situations or in calam calamities and even in threats to peace and security. Tarsier 117 is just a phone call away. Dial 117 on your landline phones or 038-117 on your cell phones. Text messages are likewise recorded in the computer systems of the Tarshir headquarters. Emergency first responders from Bohol were invited to the United States to share their experiences from Typhoon Yolanda and the Bohol earthquake with various government and city officials. Rumel Conclara with this report. This Filipino first responders Dr. Glicerio Petran Dolaritos, Mark Sidney Dugalia, and Maynard Tokmo Butalid arrived in San Francisco during the annual Fleet Week. Before the members of the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. It's just great to have international partners out here to refine operations, to do the information sharing, and actually learn what the guy on the other side of the fence is doing. The first responders say that Bohol is in an ongoing process of rebuilding, but they have been making great progress. They wish to invite all Kavalbayans in the United States to visit Bohol and witness the reconstruction. Will Malcolm Clark, ABS-CBN News, San Francisco. Winning the hearts and earning the trust of the community, Tarshir 117 continues in its mission to save lives for a safer Bohol, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Tarshir 117.